Hi guys, have um as you can see I'm very sad right now. If I'm right. Apparently you are no my what was I saying my my brother's cat Steve. Apparently my brother's cat Steve, um my brother Caleb's cat Steve. <sighs> you know passed away from passed away the other night on the 28th of January 28th was the night was was mainly from not not from the last night but from the other last night the other last night was technically from where we first and we saw who we went to see Caleb we, we were trying to get Steve and apparently we saw oh no we saw Steve who was like me really skinny and he was like Steve out was he was like meowing a lot. Like he was suffering apparently from an illness that he had apparently for a few days because just when we walked in, Steve was like meow, meow, meowing non stop and he's just this one act like he's dying or something like that where he mentioned that, you know, he says in the Steve was, he just does this where he acts like he's act like he's dying or something act like he's dying or something like that. Saying that he act like Steve was acting like he was dying or something like that, which I can see in apparently um, in his stomach and Caleb saying something about Steve starved himself for a few days. <sighs> and uh, apparently, <laughs> apparently. I don't know what happened though, but I don't know, but apparently. So, apparently when I mentioned like getting some baby formula for his cat, even though he can't mention that Steve isn't going to be able to eat, he's going to drink stuff that isn't good for him or something like that. And we got that stuff for him and we were hoping that he would get his strength back, he would get his strength back eventually and have his belly filled up back up again. From whenever his stomach was like all empty, where he was like completely skinny and his stomach was all empty completely from starving himself like that. And honestly, maybe if we, you know, maybe if, maybe if I did mention to my mom that I to go to see Steve to, to check on to look at to see see Steve, maybe like before a few days already, went back to where if we go back and go back. Through, you know, back for backwards time or something like that, just be careful. Just, wish it was all a dream, wish it was just a dream where, where we just go back through time, back and go a few days back from before Steve started and stuff like that. Where, so, so that way we can actually see. And Kale was mentioning that he wasn't eating much and you need that medicine that can help. And apparently, Steve was was ill apparently because he wasn't eating that much wasn't eating his cat food, he was eating wet food apparently and we were going to give him that medicine and apparently and we went home and we went home we basically drove home apparently to get him for bedtime and and my mom had a phone call from my brother Caleb that there's something wrong with Steve, and they're trying to go and see if Steve's okay. And Jalen came along with Mom to see what's going on, and they were gone for probably for for a few hours, for probably for for some hour, probably like for an hour or so, or something like that. I'm not sure. And apparently, whenever they came, and I was like, "Oh no, oh no, and I was like, and I started crying. And I, I started crying so much. But I I started crying a lot because I was worried that Steve might have that Steve wouldn't make it. But uh, whenever Mom and Jalen came back, I was right there. I started to close myself and keep my hold my tears back in as I was going into the kitchen to get some more tea and um. And of course, my mom.
quase. So my uh, mom, my mom started, you know, like walking in here on a bed to sit the door and sit next to me him. I got so emotional just when she sat next to me and well, she she got emotional. She she started crying too. She was upsetting. And we had to wait until tomorrow, and I can't sleep because my nose just stopped from crying so much. And and we decided to wait until tomorrow, which was on January 29th, was when we decided to go wait for Caleb. And I started crying on the way there. And of course I started and of course I started crying in there, in the drive in the driving area in the driving stop in the driving stops in the vehicle spots and Kelo came and Kelo was like hugging me and I started crying and of course Kelo was like I know I know and he he was crying too and it was upsetting even though I didn't and I also did thought that maybe if I Maybe instead of, instead of, you know, <sighs> instead of just staying here, maybe, like I said, for me, like, whenever, at the 28th of March, I mean, on the, no, on the 28th of January, where, at night time, where we came back and Kayla, where my mom got a phone call, and maybe I should, maybe instead of, you know, like, instead of staying here, in the middle of the night while they were there, I should have probably just came along with them to see if <sighs> the, the base right here, okay? I just don't know what happened, you know, but and it was upsetting though. It was upsetting to leave someone. Apparently it was upsetting. And you know, of course, the themes, whatever, are not going to be the same. <laughs> the themes are never going to be the same without him. Because now Steve is gone, now Steve passed away. And themes are never going to be the same without him. When we, and if we do visit him, we, even. And if we do visit him, someday after Steve passed away, it will probably mean and anything like that being anything out Steve around would remind me of Steve. But and you know, luckily we have we still have luckily we do still and at least we still have our other cat baby girl. We still have our other cat. Baby girl and our, our cat baby, which means that she's a very sweet cat, and she and it was a good thing, which means that she never ends up experiencing that suffering, and she, and she never gets ill. To the fact that she has a passing away like Steve did, which is good, because if if baby girl had that same illness that Steve had, then and obviously and like baby girl ended up getting that illness that Steve had. And like, and if she ended up passing away after Steve, then that would be very sad. <sighs> if I'm right, you can definitely see. <laughs> see right here. Yeah, you can see right there. That's she. <sighs> that she is. Still alive, which is good, and we won't tell her mom about it. She, and she got the sickness. And my mom was like, That that baby did got sick once, but not like Steve. Not like the illness that Steve has that made him pass away. And I was like, I'm like, Can like, he still be still not shutting down or something like that? And like, my mom was like, mentioning, like, saying that, that you know, that Steve's. That Steve's was 
pretty much already shutting down whenever we came there. It seems to even pain. And it can't look like, and apparently, it seems to look like his system was. The, he was already shutting down. That Steve was actually already shutting down. Even when we went there and see him. Just water, guys, and it was upsetting. And and you know, remember to kill him. It's probably gonna be a little sad for a few days, including us, because we came from a family. Because it's pretty upsetting to lose something. <sighs> to lose someone, lose some cat that is so like important, so precious to you, and. I don't know how am I gonna how am I gonna be able to stay happy if if, if I say if I visit Caleb's and Steve's not there. It's, in other words, I'll be reminded of Steve's funeral and and of course I'll probably have to get some fresh air. I'll probably have to get some fresh air outside. Oh no, I just don't know what to do. I just don't know at all. I don't know. You might be, and you might be wondering why I'm I'm at. So you guys may be wondering. You guys may be wondering why I'm at home and not not at school. It's probably because you know like. So you might be really wondering why. So you guys might be wondering why I'm not at school because I. My mom was like mentioning like you know like, staying home or go to school or something like that. <laughs> Excuse me. And I decided to stay home because I was worried that I might get emotionally upset. And of course, my mom isn't gonna be able to pick me up because the vehicle, my mom's vehicle, isn't working properly. Apparently, something's wrong with my mom's vehicle. Apparently, because her vehicle apparently isn't working properly, and my stopped working, and something wrong with it. And and if I am, and if I if I start having, and if I start crying a lot about thinking about Steve at school, I'll probably be stuck there. Crying about it with everyone looking at me. And I just don't know why. I just don't know why it happened. No, like, maybe, perhaps if it was, maybe from a few days back before he started himself from hiding for a few days and starting himself like that, we could prevent it from happening. And you know, instead of having him passing away, completely starved up like that, we could probably just get some baby food, baby, baby, you know. Baby formula for Steve for a few days back before a few days before Steve is a part of himself. I just don't know. I just don't know like what they're gonna do. I don't I don't, I don't understand what is Caleb gonna do with Steve's food bowl and his water bowl and this stuff. Cause if he's living there, it's gonna remind me. Of it. I just wish for hope. Just like when we really stayed, just like we lost Lexi. Because he had arthritis from a long time ago. I just wish for hope. And I would say. I would say that. Say that rest in peace, Steve, and hope that he's happy now and a better. That he's happy now and a better life now. That he's, that he's happy now. That he's no longer suffering. And and, and I hope that. But. We still have our other cats, but I'm gonna tell you this that Steve will always have a special place in my heart, no matter what. I just really hope. I just really hope. And I'm really sure hope. And I'm really sure hope. But 
everything's gonna be better now, and hopefully for a few days I might be happy again, and it'll be happy, and it'll be back to my happy old self again after a few days. If if not, I'm probably gonna still get reminded of it for a bit longer, but until I eventually understand. <laughs> Because even if I didn't know that, I'm, I should be worried though. I thought that Steve was gonna last longer, and Steve wasn't gonna hide so much. And all I know is like, if if Steve did, if Caleb, if Steve didn't pass away without me knowing, like Caleb ends up like, and if we didn't visit them, and we did not even visit them, and. And Steve ended up passing away without the baby formula, without the muggy baby formula, because my mom wouldn't be with it. And, and, and I probably imagine that my mom would have, my, my mom would have probably gotten a call from Kel that Steve passed, Steve, Mr. Steve's of K on January 28th, which is basically the night, that's basically, that's the night of the day, that's the night of... That is the night of the day. That's basically the night of January. <sighs> Stiff <Stupid bigots. sighs> And you know, if some of you guys can, if you can, if you can, if you, some of you guys will. So if if some of you guys. Are going to you can go ahead and like <sighs> reply some add some nice and heartwarming comment comments for my brother's cat Steve. That would be well appreciated. No, it made me very happy. And if you can't do that, you can still reply. <sighs> Probably like some nice comments for for my cat. You can still give us a like if you want to. If you understand what was going on, and I, and I just don't know what to do. Oh, what did he say? Okay. I what did he say that one day, and hopefully, and even though if Caleb ends up getting another cat, ends up. Getting another, gradually it gets a newer cat that isn't gonna be like that. It won't be the same as Steve though, because the only cat I will end with would be Steve because because I'm his fav I'm his favorite. I'm his favorite person because he always likes to go walk towards me in purrs and likes to get all up. I just really hope you guys understand. I hope you guys. I hope. So, uh, hold on, guys. So, my mom came to came here to see if I was okay. She made a video of pictures of Steve to post on Facebook, and. I want you guys to understand that's very upsetting to deal with losing a pet that you care about so much. And I want you to please understand this and make sure you know, make sure that your pet doesn't make sure, you know like and if you're if if one of your pets end up like having this kind of illness and your pet actually didn't feel well and, and like your pet wasn't feeling so well and didn't feel like eating so much because it wasn't feeling good. And if your, if your pets were actually having an illness that made them meaningless and make them starve themselves like that for no reason, you're gonna have to be sure. You have to make sure and make the best and make the best for some of your pets that might be like you know. You know and make sure you have to make sure that some make sure your pets and like. <sighs> Make sure that Seba, make sure you give your pets all the love that they need before they pass away, and be and just try to give them all the attention you need for the last moments. If your pet doesn't pass away, you have to 
give them all the attention you need and show them to show how you care for them and before on the run for the last moments and this and understand and understand that they're good pets and think about very happy stuff about them think about good things about them and remember how happy and how how sweet they really were Excuse me, and understand how sweet and uh, how sweet and cute your pet really is, and always give them the attention, all the attention you need, in order for them to remember that. <laughs> Bring your pet to remember that, and make sure they remember that they that, so that way they can understand that you care about them so much, <laughs> and. And then, uh, and bye guys. I won't be recording much videos that much since I'm too upset right now, so I'm not gonna record that many videos. When I'm upset, once I feel fully calm, I might record another video someday, sometime. Probably next Sunday, I might record another video once I recover from this <sighs> tragic <laughs> event. And, and then, um, <sighs> and and hope you guys have a good day